All right, we're going to be using uh, KiCad. Um, KiCad, this is the latest version, 8.0, something or other. Um, when you create a new file, you just go here, File, Create, and stuff, and you'll get, you'll, get a couple, you'll get a couple of things automatically loaded. It'll keep backups for you automatically. Um, but basically, there's two files. There's, there's the PC board layout file, and then there's the schematic file. So we're going to enable. We're going to have to create both of them, but right now I just want to start with the PCB, and so um, you double click this here, and we get uh, we get we get this. And what we want to do is we want to look on the uh, right here, and we're going to go to the uh, edge cuts. Okay, we're going to be editing the edge cut, and that's going to be the the um, layer that the uh, manufacturer is going to use to create the mechanical part. You know, how do they route the board, what size it is, and any holes and things like that, uh, mounting holes. All right, let's start by um, drawing a rectangle. And we'll just go to a nice starting position here. Uh, let's just... Uh, put in a box and we can fix it up. So I'm going to click on this little thing here and I'm going to say the starting point is going to be 100, 100. And that'll just, that'll just put this uh, point right here at, uh, actually it puts this point right here at 100, 100. And uh, X increases in this direction and Y increases. X increases in this direction and Y increases in this direction. Okay, so and the endpoint's going to be 143. And okay, Forty-three, one forty-three. There we go. Now we have our box, and it should be forty-three, forty-three, forty-three. We can do a little measurement thing here. We can say, well, let's go from here to here, and it says it's forty-three millimeters. So we're good to go. All right. So let's get rid of that. So we're forty-three by forty-three was what we want, and now we want to uh, put some holes. All right. So let's get the whole thing out here. Let's put a hole here, and then. Uh, we'll go edit it, so we'll double click it, and it says, okay, here's the center point. We want it at 103.5, remember three and a half millimeters from the corner. Yes, three and a half millimeters from the corner. And Y will do 3.5. So now it is exactly where we want it to be, and then we have to figure out what size do we want it to be. And uh, the radius, uh, we will set it to uh, uh, three and a half millimeters, let's say. That's too big. All right. The radius to uh, 3.1. Oh. All right. I want diameter of 3.1, not radius. So we'll do... 3.1 divided by 2, and there we go. You can actually do math when you're typing it in, which is nice, okay? So a 3 millimeter screw should go through that hole just fine. Now we can click on this, and we can say copy, and then we can say paste, and we can put one here, and paste. We can put one here, and paste. We can put one here. Okay, so now those are good, but then we go back to these. Let's make sure that their location is right, and they are not. Uh, let's see here. The Y is correct, and we want 143 to minus 3.5, and now it's in the right location. So we'll go down here. And we will do, so one, three, five is correct. This one should be uh, 143 minus three and a half. That's in the right location. 
And then we'll do this one. And this one should be, y should be 143 minus three and a half. Oops. And x should be, x should be 143 minus three and a half. There we go. Now we need to put that chamfer in here. Okay, so let's do a chamfer. We need to do a uh, draw line. Uh, all right, let's see here. What kind of line do we have? What, when is, where is this point? Um, let's see, we want these four millimeters. Uh, so we need to go to four millimeters. So that's where we want the, uh, that's where we want this line to be. And I'm going to, whenever you get in trouble, just hit the escape button. Okay, that's four millimeters there. And um, we can go here to one, two, three, four. We can also do it that way because we know these are half millimeter. Okay. And then we can click, uh, click these guys here. All right. Well, there we go. I have made a mistake here, though. Um, I drew a rectangle and that's rectangle we have to get rid of and then we'll just put in some lines, some individual lines. All right. All right there, now we have a board outline. Let's get rid of this dimension here and everything should be good to go. So this will be the outline of our board. All right, so in that, again, uh, we can uh, see that we're on the edge cuts, um, the edge cuts, the layer over here. So we are good to go and everything needs to fit on here. All right, so we can hit save here and let's go back to the PC board. So up at the top here, uh, this little symbol here is a switch to schematic editor. So if you want to go back to the PC board, you, you push this little button and you can go flip back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. All right. Well, let's see if we can add a part. Okay, we're going to add a part. And um, we are going to have a capacitor. We'll type C and we say, okay, we're going to have a capacitor. We'll hit the R button to rotate and we'll just put a capacitor here and a capacitor here. And then we're going to have uh, probably some other capacitors for the power supply filtering. We'll just kind of put them up here just as keepsakes. All right, we're going to have one inductor. So we will say add, hit A the button, hit L. Here's your inductor. We'll say OK. And rotate that one. And we'll just kind of stick it over here for now. All right, let's see if we have that part. So we'll do add. Now we're going to type in the part number. Our part number is a GVA. Let's see if there's any GVAs built in here. And there is. They have the GVA 63 in the in the actual uh, symbol library. So that's the part we're going to be using, the GVA 63. We'll say OK. And we'll say, OK, let's uh, let's put it in right uh, We'll put it in right here. All right. And now we can just move things over. Uh, just highlight them and move them. Let's move this over here. And then we got these guys over here. We'll just move them in. There we go. That looks good. Let's put in some grounds. Hit the ground symbol over here. Uh, type G and D. There we go. That looks like a good one. Let's say OK. And we'll put a ground here. We'll put a ground here. We'll put a ground here. That looks good. We'll add some wires, little, little thing here. I'll put the, oops. Put the wires. Oh, come on. Try that again. When you get in trouble again, push the escape button. There we go. And uh, you can see the little bubble there. That's where you want to click. And then uh, automatically does this stuff. I'll come over here and click and click. 
All right. So we have kind of everything hooked up here. We're going to have an inductor, some capacitors. All right. So just for fun right now, let's go ahead and um, we'll go up here at the top. Okay. And this one here says assign footprints. We need to assign the footprints. And my capacitors, I want to be 0805s because that's what I have. So I'm going to click, uh, click this. I actually have my own footprints, MSI guy footprints, and I'm going to be using a cap. Uh, let's see here. Where's my cap 805? Here's my cap 805. Double click that. Now I put it there. I'm going to say copy. I'm going to make all of these the same by pasting them. Uh, the inductor. Um, do I have any inductors over here? I don't. I think I do. So we will um, go into the library, inductor surface mount, and here's an 0805, 0812 metric. Let's just, we're going to change these later, so it doesn't really matter what we're doing now, but let's go ahead and Let's click this one just for now, just for fun. So we have things in here. So, okay. Now we can go over to the PC board again. And we're going to go up here to update from the PC board file. Hit the update button. It says, oh, you got a bunch of stuff here. Update the PC board. Okay. And then when you say, okay, these things appear. And we'll just stick them on here for now. Okay. So now here's all our parts. All right. Uh, we've got our um, part here. If you want to select a part, you can either draw a box around it, select parts, you draw a box around those, or you can go, so that's going from left to right. If you go uh, right to left, then all you have to do is kind of get just a part of the part and then you'll get in. If you do this, it won't select it. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's only what it gets inside the entire box. But if you go this way, then it selects everything. So that's what we want to do. We'll come down here and we'll do a rotate. I'm hitting the R button. We'll do a rotate. And um, so this will be in, that'll be out, this will be ground. So let's grab this thing. And he looks like he's the input cap. Grab this thing. He looks like it's the output cap. And then we got uh, these guys. Let's move them over here for a second. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to rotate it into place. We'll put them right here. And then we'll take these guys. I'll rotate them. Uh, all right. Let's put those guys right here. All right, and then we can grab all of it and put it here in the middle. All right, so here's what we're going to have. We're going to have a signal that comes to this capacitor to pin one, and then three goes to out this capacitor, and then there's also goes through the inductor and some filtering things here. All right, so I usually lay things out twice <laughs> um, just to make things interesting. We'll go ahead and do a route tracks here, okay? And if you do click, click, it automatically puts a track here. And that's definitely not what I want, okay? I do not want that. So I hit Control Z and that backs me up and undoes everything. Control Z undoes things. I want a particular width of, um, width of trace though. So I need to go up here to track I'm going to edit predetermined sizes. I'm going to add a width plus button. I'm going to add a width and um, let's see here. It's going to be around 50 mils. All right. So I don't know what that is. I'm going to change it to inches right here. And now when I do the add, I, I'm in inches now, and I can say 0.05 inches, say okay, 
Now I can say use the 05. And now I can just have this nice big fat thing here. And that's going to go here. And that's going to go here. So that real fat traces because that's going to be a 50 ohm impedance line. And I can just make everything the same. It doesn't really matter. All right. So there you go. You're kind of getting the idea now of what we've got. We can do a view 3D. And that is what we got. Okay. That's what it's going to look like. We're going to have two capacitors filtering the uh, DC voltage, five volts. Um, inductor feeds it into the output. We got our two capacitors. So we're on our way, right? We have an outline of a board. We have an idea of our part sizes and stuff. You can see that we have lots and lots of room, so that's good. All right, so that's enough for this video. Um, we'll take a look at how we want to lay out these connections and stuff. And I have an idea for maybe something else to add to the board. So, so far, so good. Once we're done, click Save. Close the window, close the window, click save, save your work.